All right, folks, it's Tuesday, it's August 23rd. It's about 2 p.m. We have two hours before a spot rain shower comes to come out of nowhere. It's supposed to be a good one, too. Uh, I think we've got more than enough time to get this picked up. Welcome to the last day of small square baling of 2022. It feels real good. It feeling even better if the hayloft was fuller. But uh, I failed you in a lot of a lot of I I'm fa I fail all the time. <coughs> that's that's part of life. I failed you in a lot of uh, a lot of things this year. We're gonna have a little bit of footage. Let's just cut the crap. I feel a little corny. Video and my dad. Okay, we're men here. There's some of you that can probably make that make sense. We're gonna do it anyway. Okay. Uh, you're looking at uh, very thin crops, but a crop nonetheless. It merited a cutting, and my God, is this going to be candy. This is predominantly alfalfa. And, uh, yeah, absolute candy. This field here, because it is separated by this, uh, uh, we're going to call this an old dead furrow. This is predominant grass, but it had a lot of good showings of the, uh, the no-till drilling. There is a lot of, uh, lose my gosh damn mind, there's a lot of trefoil in here. Dad mainly does all the small square baling. Why? Because he likes it. Number two, he's good at it. We obviously had to tighten the baler up quite a bit to make a proper bale with this lighter product. That's the John Deere Model 328. With a uh, Model 42 kicker. Yeah, we got two hours. I think that's gonna be okay. If we're cutting it close, I'm already hooked up to the round baler and uh, we'll get her cleaned up. Last of the dry hay, 2022. Yeah, not just small squares, but dry hay in general. It's, this is it. A real thin product is real hard to all pick up at once. As you can see, a lot of it gets stuck on the ground floor. There's nothing you can do. Teeth are already dragging the ground floor. This is gonna be some very excellent stuff for some of these calves come wean off time. Um, perfect world, I had to end up with about 300 bales here today. And what a perfect start to help off with the weaning process. Basically just to calm down, good feed. Some of you can make that make sense, I'm sure. I had to ship a few head of cattle this morning. I've yet to still tell you what I'm doing. We'll get to that point. It's been a ruckus of a morning. A ruckus of a morning. Uh, what was I going to say? I hope I got the date and time right anyway. Otherwise, I'd be concerned. All right, that small square baler. We are so stinking proud of that baler. Always have been, always are. Uh, but of course, it's it's a square baler. <laughs> it gets some misses. It gets a, it gets demons in there. Um, and uh, ever since we changed out brand new, both finger tucker assemblies, yeah, um, yeah, there's those weren't very fun to change either. Uh, bloody knuckles, but whatever. Uh, that baler has got an A-plus rating this year. A-plus. 
unbelievable. If I had to guess, and this is a pretty good guess, I bet you we only broke four bales all year, and that was basically our fault. It was way too higher moisture in alfalfa. Um, and then one other time, the knotter hit a man-made knot where the, uh, the twine comes together. And uh, that usually will ca cause havoc. And uh, yeah, just an A-plus on that baler. That baler's 20-plus years old. Always shedded, well taken care of. Uh, maintenance job, a fully and sole maintenance job before every... Uh, <laughs> before going to work and uh yeah there's there's been some parts and pieces put in there uh thankfully nothing uh nothing too bad just uh wear parts for god's sakes things wear out if you're working them they wear out yeah beautiful Beautiful. What a good cap to the season here. Yeah, we should hit a, we should hit about three uh, three hundred bales. I uh, that means about one fifty a wagon. Uh, there's another wagon out here. May or may not have to go for another one. All that straw got put up last night. Hell, I didn't even show you that. I'm missing it quite a bit here lately. Um, I had a freaking onion for gosh damn once. Something with an onion in it. And I never learned. This is kind of like beer drinking. <laughs> so good. I'm in a good damn mood. I'm in a good damn mood. So, I buy, shit, I buy all my straw, obviously if you follow the channel you know I don't put small grains in no more, uh, and uh, four, <coughs> I have four wagons, about 600 bales uh, from a uh, fantastic group of farmers, probably uh, oh, maybe five, six miles away. And uh, I, I buy my straw for them every year. I think I've told the story. And those got put up in the haymow last night. I was able to get a real good crew in. And uh, that's, that's another feel-good moment. It's all part of putting this year to bed. It's getting there. we got a ways to go. But, for example, the last amount of small square dry baling in general. Hey, the straw's put up. That's a good feeling. Um... Yeah, I don't know how to explain it. The RPMs to the rotary rake do not need to be at full gosh damn throttle. That is the problem here. But it's also not the end of the world. cab get ready to uh unhook and hook dad back up to another wagon here probably uh, it's about another 30 minutes better and uh not only do we have that spot shower that's coming but we have a uh, a very nice threat of rain this evening notice the way i said that is fantastic we now need it again we are dry to the bone um We've been dry all year. So therefore, that being said, I need to clear out the uh, the other shed. And this hay needs to be put under cover. Go from there. 
because I cannot get it offloaded this evening. to have you guys with me uh sorry about the corny videos this year didn't uh, didn't treat you to a whole lot this year it is not over um the man that makes a lot of promises all the time is uh full of shit so i'm just going to tell you that i'm going to do my damnedest my absolute damnedest to take you with me on some uh some finer things here come uh, alfalfa bailage time which uh I think tonight with a couple of cold beers is possible to go do another crop check. I don't even know why I keep making these videos because I got about 10 of them that I haven't even uploaded yet. It's part of living the dream. <laughs> We're going to talk to you sooner and later.